Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Oil Exotics and um, got a couple of little jobs today so we've got to check on the paludarium we did yesterday we've got to put the lights on and we've got to put the animals in as long as everything's all set up and it's still running really right so I uh, turned it off last night because I didn't want it to drain or do anything weird while I wasn't here so we're going to have a good test day today so I've just turned it all on, let it run see if, so, see if it drains quick enough and stuff like that, see how it works so I did put a little drainage pipe in there so I'll show you that when I get a chance as well. We'll go down and do a bit of animals today. Uh, so maybe do a little bit fishy, feed the Oscar and stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, fingers crossed we have a good day. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Well, I told you a little tiny lie yesterday. I said I didn't order any animals. But I did. Only a little tiny box. So, uh and it was at Blooming Manjits again, down at the Blooming Corner Shop, because that's where my shop is, obviously. Obviously, that's where it must be. I must work at Manjits, it's got to be. <laughs> but, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll open this now. I think it's just two little lizards, but uh, we'll have a little look, see what we've got. Ooh. we got in the box what have we got in the box Ooh. we got a bandu gecko oh they're taped together Ooh. so we've got one bandu gecko female two bandu gecko females Absolutely lovely. So they're going to go with our male, and then these are already reserved, um, and the male's reserved as well. They're going to, he's going to have a trio. The person is. So uh, we we'll get these in box and we we'll get them in the tank with the male. There we go. There's both of them. They've got some cool markings on them. They really do. As soon as they settle in a bit more, they'll uh, they'll colour up a bit better. But they are stunning little geckos, and the phone's ringing. So here we have the bandy geckos, and we've got the male. So, um, oh, we're going to put everybody in here, and then everybody can have a little bit of a chill time. Everyone can be quarantined, because he's, he's all right, but we'll put these in there. They'll be fine. We'll leave them for a couple of weeks, and then they can be sold. Um, so... Um, they are from Central America. They live about 8 to 12 years. They grow to about 4 to 5 inch. So these are adult females by the looks of them. Um, and they are very slender geckos. They're not very big geckos at all. So they stay nice and slim. And they don't get very big at all. But they're a nice beginner gecko. You okay, darling? You okay? Hello? Hello? There we go, darling. How's that? Hey? There you go. Let's go for a stroll. There we go. There's one. I thought about doing half uh, woodland, half arid. So they like semi-arid, but they like the woodland as well. So I thought about doing a, a, the, a, the hot end as a arid. And then this end, I was thinking about putting some bark chip and having it as the forest region. But I haven't quite decided yet. So uh, we get the other female out. Hello, darling. Whee, straight in. Look at that. So we've got the two girls now. And the male is down the back of here. There he is. So uh, they'll do really well now. So they're only in here now for the for the duration of the couple of weeks while they're waiting to be ready to go to their new home. And then they'll be going in a bigger setup when they go to him. It'll be there for 
um, like forever home, so it'd be not temporary housing. But uh, yeah, they're doing really well. They seem to be quite chill. So I've chucked some locusts in there for them. Uh, they've got plenty of water. Yeah, they're doing quite well. They should, in the next couple of days, they should colour up, get some nice colours on them. You having an explore, are you, darling? So we'll let them chill now. We'll let the male slowly investigate and when he gets a chance to. So I've decided to put my new tank on the till. So that's what we've got now. So we've got, oh, let me turn the other light on. Looks a bit better then, doesn't it? Oh, I'll turn the light on. There we go. Oh, that's better. So we've got fishy tank, reptile tank, proper child. So yeah, I think it looks nice on there. Shows the two areas that we, we do. Um, so I have done some slight alterations to it to add to drainage speed because it wasn't wasn't draining as fast as I would like. So um, I'll show you what I've done and we'll go from there. So down in the center of here, with the bubbles, see the little pipe? So I put a drainage pipe in there and I've added a drainage pop section in here because the water coming down this back bit was washing around here and staying here so I put a gravel layer so you can go straight down and back in because it was just draining the pump too quick so we've got a nice layer above the pump now so it could be a little bit better but we're dealing with it so and I think it looks really nice so we've got the lights on it now so we're ready to put the anoles in I need to put some spring towels in as well so we'll put some spring towels in, get all the finishing to just wipe all the glass, get everything ready, and we can put the annals in. So I've just managed to catch the female. So uh, we've got to try and make sure that she goes in the tank now. So uh There you go, darling. See? The other way. There's a big hole, look. There's a big hole behind you, you silly lizard. Come on, big hole behind you. Look, you're half out the hole. There we are, look. Don't you climb out, don't you climb out. You go around and have an explore. You okay, darling? So, she's got a bit stressed. So when they stress, they do tend to darken. So uh, you should see hopefully in the next couple of days or next, hopefully in the next couple of minutes she should clean up, clear up. She should get nice bright. You can just see her there now. So we're going to catch the male. He's probably going to be just as dark. And then um, we can get him in as well. And hopefully we can tell they're doing better because they'll be nice and green. I'm afraid I can't show you catching because I need two hands. It's just they're, t they're too fast. I physically can't do it. So what I'm usually what I'm doing is we pin them with this against the glass and then we slide the lid behind it and then put the lid on so then they're in here. That's all I'm doing. So it's quite simple, quite easy, not grabbing them, not stressful, and then we're just releasing them into the big one. So when's Meg's back in, we should be able to show you catching a little bit better. But there he is having a madden because he's got it, he's in the box and he don't like it. So we're gonna release him out now. Come on, buddy, out you go. Whoa, 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 don't you come out the tank. Whoa, that was close. So there he is. And we nearly lost him, so I'm going to shut the glass before it happens again. What are you doing, mate? You enjoying your new tank? See, so he's already starting to lighten. So he's stressed him out a little bit doing that. You can see his lungs are going. So it's just because he went a mad half hour because he's didn't know what was going on. So hopefully he can settle down now and enjoy his new enclosure. Oh, look at that for a shot. Absolutely, look at that. He's already turning green. He's already turning green. Oh, it's hard to see. There you go. Look, he's already turning green. That shows that he loves it in there. Already turning green. That's, that's amazing. It's almost like a chameleon. 
Probably turning greener and greener. Ah, so you've got him up there, uh, and she's still down at the back down here. But he's gone straight up there now, and he's got green ears now. Literally, it's took him seconds now, and he's half green, half brown. So I'm going to leave him, let him settle in, let him get used to it. I love, I love how he's gone straight up on the waterfall. But there we go. There he is on display on the counter. I really like that, I really do. Oh, green, she's gone now. Shedding a bit as well. She's been flicking it off and rubbing her nose, she has. Male's still a bit brown. But the female's gone right green now. Look at her rubbing her face. Come on, darling, you can do it. Just gotta get it off your noses. Stuck on your nose. Come on, you can get it off, darling. So, uh, I tried to do some research on these because some people say you can put them in um, like co tanks so you can have another animal in with it. Uh, I did my research because you can, there's some people keep them with tree frogs, and um, from what I read, the, the basking spots and that are completely different. So, a tree frog doesn't want any heat or anything like that. It's quite happy at room temperature, but the animals need a basking spot. So it's a fine line. I mean, if you had the frog and it didn't look at it, you can try to get it off. Flicky nose. You can do it. Um, so the uh, and then the so the, if you had a big enough tank where you could have a nice place down the bottom for the frog, and then you'd add a nice basking spot for the lizard up here, you might get away with it. But what you don't want is the frog getting too dry from the heat. Yeah, you nearly got it off, darling. You've only got a tiny little bit left. Tiny little bit left. <laughs> she doesn't look funny. Come on, you can get it, you can get it. You can do it. Last little bit. I don't know. Hopefully she gets that last little bit off. But it won't take her long. A couple of more scrapes and it'll come off. So one of my main jobs today is we've got to do some job work on the little on the poorly koi. So uh, he's had his full week now in the, in the quarantine. And, uh, he's doing a little bit better. He's swimming around a little bit. There he is. Um, so we've got to do a water change on him now. So uh, give him a water change, get him some food. And then, uh, fingers crossed. Look at him, look at him, he's going, he's doing stuff. Before he weren't doing nothing, now he's starting to flick and trying to get up, so it's a good sign. So we do a water change, and then, uh, fingers crossed, he'll perk right up. So I've just done his water change, and um, he still looks a little bit ropey, so he's not quite right. So uh, we're gonna do another blast of treatment. So uh, it's definitely swim bladder, because he just, he's just got no balance. He's like this, he should be like this. Instead of being on his side. Uh, so he's, 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 he is trying to swim, so I picked him up, carried him around a little bit, and he does try and swim, but as soon as you let go, he just tilts. So we'll give him another dose, of, another dose. Hopefully that'll do the trick. This turns all the water green now. And all the equipment and everything. So we'll give us a little read, just double check. So 10 mil per 50 litres. So about 100 litre tanks, we want about 20 mil. Or child protective lock, and I managed to do it with one hand. Whee. So we want 20 mil. 20 mil of swim bladder treatment. You know, little mate. So we stir it up so he doesn't get a big, nasty batch of it. But uh, there it is, big green cloud. Hopefully that'll sort you out, mate. Fingers crossed, because I hate seeing you like that. He's doing what he's, he's healthy in every other way, 
Um, I haven't been feeding him because I don't want to destroy the water quality. But uh, fingers crossed, he'll, he'll perk up a little bit and we can put him back with all the other fish once he's ready. All the orca koi are doing really well, all the grey day big ones I had in. And uh, she's still doing okay, hasn't dropped her eggs yet. But I'll put this big bush of plants in there for her to lay her eggs when she needs to. Well, spawn is the word. Uh, as soon as she wants to spawn, she can. She can lay her eggs all over those plants and they should be fine. Uh, and then I'll whip the plants out, put them in a separate tank for the babies. Uh, yeah, not quite, oh, nearly falling over. Not quite um, ready for, uh, I wouldn't sell her yet because I don't know if, if she is 100% pregnant or it may be a growth. Uh, fingers crossed she's pregnant, it's nothing bad, and she's just going to lay them, lay the, spawn the eggs, and then um, she'll be back to being normal. But we'll go back round now, catch up with my side, sort of route to over there. Look who's got himself a cricket. Crocodile sting inside his waterfall. Having a munch. But nice, is it, mate? He's a good lad. I'm trying to find another one, have you, bud? So there he is, he was eating in there, he was. So I think these crickets were coming round and going in there, and he's been grabbing them. He's a good lad, eh? You can come out and get some more crickets. Eh? His little tail. His little tail. Whoop. Going down, are you coming out? And if he's coming out, or is he going into his thing at the back? There he is, there's his little nose. I think we're leaving for a bit now. He's had some crickets, he's got loads more. You know, there's crickets everywhere now, bobbing around. So uh, he'll have himself a little munch. And then, uh, Maybe in the next couple of days we might get him out again, get him used to handling a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think he's getting on great. And you buddy, you doing okay? So it's been uh, it's been running all day now, and I haven't had a drainage problem, which is good. So uh, the little pipe work, the pipe work I did in the centre where all the where the gravel is, that's working good, and the back one is as well. So. So we've got all the gravel going back down there, it's working really well that is, it letting it have a little bit more drainage and um, keeping me filter full of water. So that was my main problem is the filter is that powerful, it was just sucking all the water out the bottom and then it was pumping out bubbles. So um, it's no good that's not. So um, we've got it to working better now so it's pumping out nice all the time and the uh, the anoles are absolutely loving it in there. Oh no, I've got something in my eye again. They're absolutely loving it. Um, had some crickets. Oh, he's displaying. He's displaying. Get a picture of him. Oh, as soon as I've come round, he stopped displaying. Yeah, it's a big neck piece that comes out. Oh, you're going to be a pain now, aren't you? No, he's not going to show us. So he gets a nice big neck piece comes out, and it's nice and red and pink. Um, you can just see it underneath his chin slightly. See, that little, that little different coloured line we see between his legs, that you can bring that right out and, uh, and it comes out as a nice display piece to show, because he's showing off to the female basically. Um, so you never know, we might have some baby and all, that would be nice wouldn't it? Come on mate, you going to flare for us? No, he's not going to flare. So he has this big neck piece come out, it flares up like that, he flares it back in, he flares it back out. It's all nice and pink and red. It's really cool when he does it. Eventually I'll catch him doing it. But at the moment, he's been a bit of a pain. And every time I go put the camera on him, he stops doing it. Oh, but I think that's all we've got for today, I'm afraid. 
So, uh, I'll say goodbye. Okay, okay then. So we've got all our little jobs done for today. We um, we finished off getting the uh, paludarium finished off and fine tuning the drainage and stuff. And we finally got the lizards in, and they're doing great. He's been displaying. He's been doing all the stuff he should normally be doing. They've gone nice and green as well, which is a good sign. Um, we checked on the poorly koi, give them a water change, give them some more treatment. Uh, and we saw the crocodile skin feed. That was nice. It's in the waterfall as well. I've never seen him feed in the waterfall before. Um, but yeah, we've had a good day today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. Um, we've got no Meg until Sunday. Because it's her birthday tomorrow and she's got Sunday off. So uh, we'll have happy birthday for Meg tomorrow. And then, um, fingers crossed, we get some good, good stuff to do. And um, eventually, I'm going to do that marine tank, I promise. So, um, if you want to watch another video, it should be a box there. If you want to watch a playlist, it should be up there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. So, I'll uh, see you in the future. Bye.